In today's video, I'm going over this powerful tool for video editors called Wondershare UniConverter. So most people think of Wondershare UniConverter as a tool to easily convert file formats and compress files, which it is, but it also offers a plethora of AI tools all in one place built to enhance your editing workflow. For instance, they have an AI video enhancer that lets you increase the quality of your grainy or noisy footage and a bunch of other fun AI tools like an AI thumbnail generator and a lot more that we'll talk about near the end of the video. The first function we're gonna touch on today is converting videos into different file types. How many times have you gone to upload something and you get that dreaded message file type not supported. Well, with UniConverter, that's no longer an issue. We can simply head to this converter tab and locate our video file that needs to be converted. Once that's open, we'll see this menu here that shows us the video's original setting. So as you can see, it's an MP4 file with 1080 by 1920 dimensions. And then here we can see the actual file size and finally the duration of the original video. Now, what we wanna do is come over to this file icon here to select our output settings. So basically we're choosing the settings we want our original media to be converted to. Since we're converting a video today, I'm just going to look under this video menu here, but it's worth noting that there are quite a few different presets like audio, devices, web video, and more. Under the video tab, you'll see we have pretty much every file type you can think of here on the left from MOVs to XVIDs and everything in between. So let's click MOV and then we have some more dimension presets specific to MOV files. So I'll select the new dimension I want or keep it the same as the original. And once we've confirmed our desired output settings are correct, we can just hit convert to start the file conversion. To locate our newly converted file, just click this finish tab and then this file icon to locate where the new file was saved. Something I really like about this feature is that UniConverter supports high speed conversion. For example, to convert a video that's 1080p, on average, it only takes 11 seconds to convert which is much faster than the competition. So if your computer supports acceleration with most Intel NVIDIA GPU brands, the conversion speed will be much faster than normal. Up next on our list of features is the compressor. So let me set the stage for you. You've just finished exporting your best edit yet, and you're excited to share it with the world. But as soon as you go to upload the file, you get another dreaded message saying, file size too large. But not to worry, we can literally fix that issue in a few clicks. So under the compressor tab, again, we're just gonna click to locate the file we wanna compress and hit load. Once it's loaded into UniConverter, we can see the current file size and then the estimated output file size after compression, but we want to customize the output settings. So hit this file icon here. From there, you'll see this slider, which is actually super convenient. We can just slide it to the left to decrease our file size, but make sure to pay attention to the green highlighted section of the slider as we don't wanna to go too much lower than the recommended range or else we risk losing too much quality. So I'll set it to the low end of our recommended range. And then I can just reference this estimated file size here to see if I'm close to where I need to be. And if I am, I'll just hit okay and finally hit compress to start the file compression and I'm all set to go. Now, these obviously aren't the most glamorous tools ever, but I still find them very useful in terms of having a convenient workflow for doing these tasks all in one place. In comparison to other similar online products, UniConverter supports a longer list of formats, as well as batch processing and localized processing, which ensures more secure user privacy and who doesn't want more privacy online. I know I do. Now let's talk about the fun stuff. Some AI tools offered by UniConverter that I think you're really going to like. So back on the homepage, you'll see this AI lab section with like 20 different AI tools from an AI video enhancer, a text to speech generator, an AI script generator, and even an AI thumbnail generator. Let's try the AI video enhancer to start. So just click AI video enhancer and then click this file icon to locate the media file you'd like to artificially enhance. By default, the AI model that's selected is the general denoiser, which will remove grain and unwanted noise from your low quality footage. We can simply hit preview to preview the results, set our export location to the same as the source folder down here. And once we're ready, just hit export. Here's a before and after of the footage so you can see exactly what UniConverter is capable of when it comes to enhancing or denoising your grainy footage. Now, something I'm even more stoked on is the frame interpolation AI model, which lets you artificially increase your original frame rate by 2X or even 4X to ensure you're able to slow down your footage as smoothly as possible. So for example, if we shot a clip at 24 frames per second, but once we started editing, we realized we wanted to slow it down without it being choppy, we can just run it through UniConverter, set the smoothness setting to 4X and then hit export. 
Now, when we compare the two clips slowed down to roughly 25% speed, the difference becomes very obvious. Now, because there's so many AI tools inside Uni Converter, I'm going to just touch on one last one that I think is really fun, but I definitely recommend at least trying the free seven day trial in order to test all of the features yourself. So finally, let's test out the text to speech feature and see if we can create a usable AI voiceover. So all we need to do is input our text that we want to be read out loud. So I'm just going to use the intro script from this video. From there, I'll choose from six different audio types, either narrative, advertisement, education, social media, entertainment, or conversation. I'll select advertisement and then choose powerful as our tone of voice setting before hitting generate. And here are the results. In today's video, I'm going over this powerful tool for video editors called Wondershare Uni Converter. Now, like I said, the best way for you to test out all of these features is Wondershare's free seven day trial. So head to the link in my bio for that. And with that being said, let me know your favorite feature in the comments if you made it this far, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.